Let's talk about Power Book 2, Season 3, Episode 8. Now, Diana had me a little worried at first. You know, I didn't know if she was going to be looking out for herself or if she was going to keep it real. I don't know. But I was a little worried. Now, you're going to tell me that's all it took him to pay a little... I mean, I, I, okay, I can't lie. I, I get it, sis. I wouldn't do it, but I get it. But I must admit, it's a little underwhelming. Like, we, we saw it coming. We knew it was going to happen, but the way it happened was... It just kind of felt rushed to me. And I just want to say, this is so unrealistic. You got an open room, an open office where anybody can just walk past and hear what y'all talk about. That was okay. Looky, looky, looky. Drew got himself into a little pickle. <laughs> Honestly, I don't care. I, I know it's going to come back for him later on in the show. And he might, you know, get unalived. But I don't know why I just don't care. His... His character is kind of annoying to me, honestly. Like, I'm I'm Team Kane at this point. Like, I don't care for Drew. I think this is also going to come back to bite them in the end because he's not going to let this go. Y'all out of him. He gonna out y'all one way or another. And this whole episode was kind of like, blah. So I think this moment kind of saved it from being like a lame episode because I was like, oh, they finally doing it. Yes. So I'm ready to, for the next episode. I'm stuttering. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm ready for the next episode to see what happens next. And if Effie getting locked up wasn't enough. Oh, baby, we got sex. Didn't I tell y'all in the last episode? It was going. Yeah, it happened. And I don't know how I feel about it. Honestly, like we're not going to see him again unless it's a flashback you know i don't know how i feel i'm undecided and this last part was so unnecessary i don't even know his name y'all so i guess it's a way to get him off the show but yeah i don't really care i don't know his name 